Are you making excuses for your actions as a leader? Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week, we are in 1 Samuel chapter 13. I've titled this chapter, Partial Obedience is Still Complete Disobedience. So chapter 13 chronicles the moments that the Philistines push against the borders of Israel. Saul, in disobedience, does not wait for Samuel to get there to offer the burnt offering, and he does it himself. And here is the interchange between Saul and Samuel in verses 11 all the way down through verse 15. Samuel said to Saul, what have you done? And Saul said, when I saw that the people were scattering from me and that you did not come within the days appointed, by the way, he did, and that the Philistines had mustered at Michmash, I said, now the Philistines will come down against me at Gilgal and I have not sought the favor of the Lord. So I forced myself, I forced myself and offered the burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, you have done foolishly. And you have not kept the command of the Lord your God with which he commanded you. For then the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart. We know, of course, that to be David. And the Lord had commanded him to be prince over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. And Samuel arose and went up from Gilgal. The rest of the people went up after Saul to meet the army. They went up from Gilgal to Gibeah of Benjamin. So Saul here gets a little bit of a face spanking by Samuel. And as he does, he offers Samuel five immediate excuses. Number one, the people were afraid and running in fear. Number two, you, Samuel, their spiritual leader, were not here on time, even though he was. Third, the Philistines are close and prepared to attack us. Fourth, I knew I needed to seek the favor of the Lord. So number five, I forced myself to do something that I know I shouldn't have done. Now, these excuses sound all too familiar to those of us who are parents, don't they? <laughs> this sounds just like every teenager who has ever been caught in a mistake. And Saul's response to Samuel underscores a universal truth about leadership. Leadership is a role that comes with pressures from all directions, both internal and external, physical and spiritual. And leaders encounter these pressures every day. And they get the privilege of making decisions that either honor or dishonor God. This is the challenge of all leadership, a truth that we must all come to terms with if we are going to lead. But what's even more telling is Saul's response here. Yes, he was under immense leadership pressure at the moment. But instead of leading with patience, acting in faith, and seeking godly direction, he chose to act on his own volition and afterward offered a bunch of excuses, five in all. Saul's leadership failure at this moment cost him dearly. And as a result, God declared that Saul's kingdom would not continue to his next of kin, a decision that actually is going to affect Jonathan as well. This is a stark reminder that we as leaders are all in danger of suffering the same fate if we are not careful as well. You know, the pressures of leadership will always test the dimensions of our character. Acting impatiently and offering excuses may provide some type of momentary relief, but they ultimately undermine leadership and trust and integrity, both with God and man. Godly leadership demands that we own our mistakes, learn from them, and strive to align our actions with God's commands, regardless of what pressures may come our way. I hope this blesses you today. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.